Good morning. Welcome to today's episode of Reflective Hour with Tammy Tony Butler. But we all know who the real host of this show is, and that's Christ. Holy Spirit, just come have your way. Have your way in this hour, in this time that we have together. Because everything that we are is in your name. Oh, Holy Spirit, come. Today is a day of joy. Today is a day of gratitude. Today is a day that the righteous will never be forsaken or their children begging bread. For today, we rejoice in the Lord. We see the fullness of all the Lord has for us in the land of the living. Today, we have peace and joy and gratitude. We have hope. Today is a day to rejoice. Today is the day to be grateful, to praise the Lord with all your heart, leaning not on your own understanding, but trusting that his ways are above your ways. His will for your life is imminently better than anything you could dream up for yourself. So cast down those imaginations and have the heart and mind of Christ. Lord Jesus, guiding us, keeping us, strengthening us, protecting us, loving us. Even when we can't love ourselves, he loves us. Even when we don't know what to say, he knows. And the Holy Spirit intercedes for us because Jesus is seated in heavenly places to the right side of the Father. Lord Jesus, today, I just pray for everyone listening to this. I pray for their healing, their restoration, their strength as they go through another day surrounded by darkness, but trying to share your marvelous light with the world. Protect them, O oh God. Strengthen them. Show them the way that they should walk. And they'll never dash their feet against a stone. For the steps of the righteous are ordered. Let them walk along that ordered path for the sake of the King. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, I pray those things for you. I pray them over your life. Find strength. Find joy today. Freedom today. It's all yours. You can take it. It's okay to receive everything that Christ has for us because he came so that we could have life more abundantly. Everything he is is in his name. He gives us the desires of our heart. We just have to ask in prayer and believe that we've received it, knowing that it's so. Faith. It's the greatest thing. The knowing, the knowing that you know that you know there is a God and that He's with us, living and breathing. And His word is sharper than any two edged sword, cutting through bone and marrow, getting to the crevices in your heart, in your soul, getting rid of negative thought patterns establishing territory for the kingdom of God, breaking off strongholds for the kingdom of God, bringing about 
order of things, divine order. God's will will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's what it says in his word. We merely need to marinate in the scriptures to find what we're looking for. How many of you feel lost? Needing a compass, needing a guide. How many of you feel as if there's just something missing in your life? Can't quite put your finger on it, but you know you were built and made for more. That's that eternal purpose that dwells deep inside of you. That's craving, needing, wanting to get out of the body, of the flesh that's holding it hostage by the world, the powers of the world. We know where our hope comes from. We know who is seated in heavenly places far above any power or principality. We know what it says in Ephesians 6. We know what it says in his word. We have the power and authority to change our lives. Change your mindset, change your life. I did, and you can too. You can have joy. You can have peace. Hope, you can walk free of that addiction. You can break free of that spirit of infirmary. All those negative lies spoken over you that paralyze you in fear. There's no fear in knowing the truth. There's no fear in perfect love, which is what, what Christ brings to us. His beloved, his bride, his body of believers, a purified bride. It's love. He loves us so much. He loves you. He will guide you. He will help you break every barrier, every obstacle that is stopping your future, that is lined in gold. heavenly, divine order of things. Jesus is waiting for you to reach out your hand and ask him to help you where you are. He's a gentleman. We have free will. He'll never force himself upon you. You have to say, Lord Jesus, I'm a father. I've slipped up, messed up. Yeah, that's me. I'm in that pit again. Can you grab me out of it? Can you get me out of it? I'm ready. I'm ready to stop waiting in the darkness, but to be transformed by your marvelous light. Oh, come get me out of the pit, Lord. Come get me out of the pit. I'm in a sea of darkness of my own doing. But I know when I call to you, you will save me. When I call out to you, you will deliver me. You will be with me in my time of trouble and in my weakness. You're so strong. You lift me up out of any pit. You deliver me from the wages of sin, which is death. Out of bondage, there's no fear and perfect love. And I choose today to be healed whole. By your stripes, we were healed. It's already finished. It's already done. All we have to do is walk it out. You are the creator. Alpha, the omega, the beginning and the end. You're everything to us. We praise your holy name. We just stop and praise your holy name today. Today is a day of praise, worship, of gratitude, of thanking you that no matter where we are, you meet us. You come for us. Even if the 99 are safe, you go after the one. I was the one. So many are the one. He will come for you. Just call out. Even if you just say, Jesus, help me. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. 
There's power in his name. There's power in his name. He will come for you. He's waiting for you to call out to him. Today, I'm going to read a scripture that he's placed on my heart. A scripture that's going to speak to you where you are. Dive into it. Marinate in it. Let him speak to you through it. And let's see what he's saying to us today. As a body of believers, as the true church, as the bride, who's waiting with oil in our lamp for him to return, to come for us. There's no sin. There's no sickness. There's nothing that will stop us from marching on to victory. We have the victory. We just have to claim it. I refuse to be sick. I refuse to be in bondage. I refuse to not walk in the fullness of everything that God has for me. It starts today. Today, I'm a new creature. Today, it begins. Today, I called out to him, and he answered me in my time of need. And I was set free from the chains that bound me for years. That's the God I see. That's the God that's He waited for the woman at the well. He waited for the woman at the well. He was with the man at the pool of Bethesda. He can be with you. Just reach out. Seek him. Seek his truth. Let's read our scripture. I'll be reading out of the Life Application Study Bible. The New International version. I'm going to be reading Psalm 112. I'm just obeying. This is the scripture that the Lord wanted me to read to you today, and I am merely his humble servant, and I'll read it to you, and he will speak to you through, because remember, it's never about seeing me. It's about the reflection that mirrors Christ. Our lives should be a reflection that mirrors him. He, we are one with him. And everything we do should say that we are a follower of Christ. When people look at us, they should see him, his light that shines in the darkness forever. The light transforms, it heals, and it redeems. We're going to read Psalm 112. Praise the Lord. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord, who finds great delight in his commands. His children will be mighty in the land. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Wealth and riches are in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Even in darkness, Light dawns for the upright, for the gracious and compassionate and righteous man. Good will come to him who is generous and lends freely, who conducts his affairs with justice. Surely he will never be broken. A righteous man will be remembered forever. He will have no fear of bad news. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. His heart is secure, and he will have no fear. In the end, he will look in triumph on his foes. He has scattered abroad the gifts to the poor. His righteousness endures forever. His horn will be lifted high in honor. The wicked man will see and be vexed. He will gnash his teeth and waste away. The longings of the wicked will come to nothing. That is a scripture that I had today to read for you. There's power in the word of God. There's freedom in the word. Let it set you free. Read the scriptures out loud. Marinate in them. Realize the hidden truth that is in them. 
Seek Christ. Seek freedom. Seek joy. He's with you. He's waiting. He's waiting, he's waiting, he's waiting. He's with you. Lord Jesus, today I just lift up everyone in the sound of my voice. I call forth healing, Father God. Strength, Father. Restoration, recovery, oh God. Restoration and recovery. Lord Jesus, I just call up for everyone who's listening to this. This reflective hour today is about focus, centering, meditating on the scriptures, and letting them bring you joy and peace and breaking you out whatever trouble is at your door. Whatever you've gotten yourself into or even things that are of no fault of your own. He's waiting. He's waiting. Reach for him. Find peace and solace in his presence. Be strengthened in your inner man and your physical man. And go conquer this day, today. Conquer. For you are victorious in Christ Jesus. That's today's episode of Reflective Hour with Tammy. Tony.